I wanted to ask him about abortion. Okay. I want to ask the people at the park why abortion is permissible in Islam. Okay. Then he went on to the deity of Christ. Okay. I said it's prescribed in scripture. He was appealing to silence and emotion in his argumentation. Then I believe the cross-examination was successful on his part. So I believe the courtesy befits me to ask a question about Tawheed. Because Tawheed posits that Allah is made out of parts. We know for a classical theistic argument that it is impossible for a classical theistic God to be made out of parts. He must be divinely simple. Yes. That's parts? No. No, no, no. So can you, can you, can you tell me why distinctions necessitate can be, it being composite? Yes. Your big argument here is you believe the God of the Muslims is made out of parts. Is it not? That's not my, that's not my Okay, so let's establish, okay. hold on. You, you have an okay, issue so with, you, you are going to pose an argument against me. So I feel like we should clarify terms. So you hold to Tawheed, do you not? No, no forget, hold on. Don't, don't, let's, let's be genuous here because you are engaging in a discussion about theology. So you believe in Tawheed, correct? Why do you have to why do you So you believe in Tawheed? Why, why is Allah your God? Why are we talking about Are you that? denying the deity of Allah? My simple question are you is denying? Here, are you denying? I will accept that my God is in three persons Son, Father, and Holy Spirit. They are distinctive persons. And I can demonstrate you that the God of Tawheed is made out of parts. That's fine. Yeah. That, that, it yeah. may be. So, so, oh, oh, wait, so your God is made out of parts, correct? I'm not, I'm not saying that. Oh, wait, I'm, are I'm you saying, say, okay, what so I'm don't be a sophist. Is, Either your Allah is made out of parts, which you have to agree, or he isn't. Once we've established that, don't commit it to quoque, I will clarify my position as a monarchical trinitarian. Oh, you're a monarchical trinitarian. Okay, okay. don't stick on me, because I, I have declared my position. I, now the courtesy I, I is you declare yours. You can ask you can ask questions, but That's when you fine. pose an argument, I want to clarify I've, your I've, position. I've Do you heard. believe in Tawheed? Is Allah your God? Is Allah your God? Is Allah your God? It is Muhammad the last messenger. That's not the point that I was making. The point here was a Christian. Is Allah your God? Hold on. So you, if you Muslims ask me a question. A, yes. Have a God yes. And taking objection to that. Yes. Now what you're giving me is some new information. Yes. About a monarchical. Yeah, so I'm a monarchical yeah. trinitarian okay, okay. which still posits the three persons are fully God. Now but they're not I segmented. Yes, so you understand that distinctions does not necess necessitate it being composite. So demonstrate me an does not necessitate yeah. it being composite. Composite. What? You're playing with words here. No. So, so what you're saying is the Muslim attributes of God is using yeah. they're, they're defined separately. They defined separate. by they segment the God but you are allowed to you are allowed to play word games and say somehow. Bro, I, those I same can show you I can show you in Ibn Taymiyyah's book. Segment God. Okay, that's, that's I can show you in Ibn Taymiyyah's work on the oneness of God. He uses this language. Don't poison the well. Distinctions and it being composite are distinctive things. So you, you can be distinct God. in different senses. For example, you, you affirm the the person of Allah is really distinct from his attributes which necessitates its composite, it's made out of parts. For example, you would say the speech of Allah is a part of the whole and it's not the whole itself. Divine simplicity, divine simplicity posits that God's attribute is the whole. I don't see a question there. So, I believe, let's have some classical theistic arguments, for example, that God has to be divinely simple and not composite. Because if your God is made out of parts, are these parts I'll say? Are these parts I'll say? Self-sufficient. I don't understand the question. So, so what you're saying is the Hindu idea of God. I'm not Hindu. Are you Hindu? I, I, I didn't say you were. Are you Hindu? I thought we were just having a discussion. What, are you? We have, okay. we have so to... if we're having a discussion, clarify your position. I don't have a position. Okay. okay. So are you denying? Are you denying? And I want you to deny on camera that Muhammad is the last prophet and Allah is not God. Can you deny why, that? Why do you need to? Because if because you, now you're being a sophist. Declare your position or what don't gauge in the discussion. What you want to do is have a conflict. Huh? You want to have no, a conflict. I want to have a dialogue. No, no, no. And I want to know who dialogue. I'm having a dialogue with. A dialogue, I'm not asking anything personal. Is Muhammad the last prophet not, 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 and not is Allah God? Saying, what's your label? Exactly, that's it. 
Okay, that's your label. Now let me attack you. No, I'm just genuinely curious. Genuinely curious. Because I've been to Catholic UK. school. I went to Catholic school. To me, it, it's. I was always taught there's three. But distinct. But in, but in one divine substance. One. I would just. Do you, do you disagree with that? I was just surprised to hear yeah. a Christian criticize a Muslim about the same thing that Muslims criticize Christians for. It was just interesting. Okay. So how about this? So you said it's it's interesting yes. that a Christian which has a difficult theology to understand is critiquing the theology of Tawhid, correct? Okay. Tawhid so I will I will define to you what the Trinity is, then I want you to define Tawhid. I so know, the di Arab. three why, divine why, why persons, hold on, because you said it's more simpler than the, the, the Trinity. The, the, so there I must be, there must the be a criteria. Islam, hold on, relax, relax, relax. I'm going to answer your question. The three divine persons in hypostasize, the one divine substance, the one divine essence, the one divine whatness. These three persons are predicated by, as God, in a different sense by a different virtue. Why have a segmentation in the first place? Pardon? Why have a segmentation in the first place? What do you mean segmentation? So what, what, when I approached you, yes. you were criticizing that Muslim chap over there. I honestly do not understand Tawheed. Mm. Okay. So could you define to me, as I have given as I have given you the courtesy, so if I have given you the courtesy to define what the what Trinity you, is. I, I don't know what so is Muhammad the final prophet yeah, and is Allah his is Muhammad the final prophet and is Allah God? I don't want to answer that. So, are you scared of Allah? No, I'm not scared of Allah. Wait, so he is refusing to say if Allah is God? Because, because, because basically, when I, I pray, do not understand Tawheed. Tawheed is incoherent. They accept multiple gods. No, your God's made out of parts, no, no, and we no, do not, no, hold on, no, hold on, no, we do not hold, we do not so hold, hold on. So now you see that you would be happy to talk about my position, but you're scared to talk about your own. We do not hold to three gods. This is an analogical predication of how one thing can be numerically free one way and one in another way. Like how I believe that Allah is composite and made out of parts. Is Allah made out of parts? Okay, so do you have to see Allah to know what he is? Okay, so when it says in your theology that Allah's attributes are formally distinct, no, really distinct from the person of Allah, this necessitates that your God is composite made out of parts. Do you really respect his game all the time? If you criticize him for a position, no. you also have to Because he's a social trinitarian. You have to stand on I really respect that. I, I respect the early church, the church doctrines, and Jesus Christ. No. Do you respect Muhammad? Yeah. Okay. So I've got a question. I've got a question then. So why in the religion of Muhammad is incest permitted, is child marriage permitted, and abortion is permitted? It's a simple question. Let's stick, okay. let's stick to theology, right? Now. Okay, because that's what matters. No, you said who I respect. Uh, you said you respect Muhammad. I'm asking you a question. I'm just asking because at the same time, there's clearly no Christian scholars anymore that you respect. I respect the early church and Jesus Christ. I'm talking about two attributes of God. I believe you don't even have anyone that he is just look up to. Okay, so I could create a modern day argument. Okay, so the, the, do you understand why these aren't modern day arguments? They there have been 400 years of my church critiquing Islam, and there's been 400 and there's been hundreds of years of Islam critiquing Christianity. And so far, if you read, for example, Ibn Taymiyyah Mir's works criticizing Christianity, he strawmans the Eastern Orthodox position. So I've got a question. You said you respect Muhammad. So why does Muhammad permit incest, child marriage, and abortion? Why? Do you believe in abortion, child marriage, and incest? Let's, let's, let's talk about Christianity. No, no, we're going to talk about Islam. Yeah, uh, you asked me who I respect. I said the early church. Pardon? The absurdity of believing. Yeah, three persons. Are, yeah, so free. So it's a value proposition in a different respect. So three persons in one divine substance. Okay, so if you. Uh, old enough. 
Old old enough to engage in a marriage contract, according to Islam. Gotcha! Pardon? Oh wait, is it is it an age or is it maturity? Are you asking for my personal view? We follow the law. Not personal view, Sharia. We follow the law. Okay, so let's just say you institute a caliphate under your Sharia law according to your al qaeda Would the age of consent and marriage be according to maturity or according to age? I have a question, I have a question. I am asking you a question, answer it. Say it again, say it again. So, according to your Sharia, is marriage according to maturity or age? Balik is mature. I'm saying he's just. After the hip puberty, he's just. So it's maturity. After the hip puberty. So let's just say, let's just say I have gone through puberty, therefore I'm mature enough to engage with a conversation. So there is no need to ask for my age because I'm old enough for Aisha. I have a question, yeah? Yeah. Say you find a girl attractive on the street. Yeah? Pardon? Say you find a girl attractive on the street. Yeah. yeah you're walking down the street. Yeah. You find a girl Why not? Are you asexual? No, no, he's not. He's not. Yeah. He likes yeah. girls. Uh, All right. Say, say you find her attractive. Yeah. Yeah. But she's 11. Yeah. But you still found her attractive. True. I would go to confession and seek uh, help from. Yeah, but naturally in your body you still found her attractive. Wait. So are you now saying that your religion promotes bodily no, no, desire? No, no, no. So he's just admitted that Islam promotes bodily desire. That I should follow that lust of an 11-year-old girl. Now I've got a question for you. If a 11-year-old were, if you were attracted to an 11-year-old girl, if you were attracted to an 11-year-old girl, would you follow through with that lust? Okay. So after you finish your point, you're going to answer my question. So you still found that girl attractive, true? I would say that's lust. Last, whatever it is, okay. you still found attractive, right? Yes. And then, say, after you talk to her, then she told you she's 11. Are you like straight away saying, oh my God? I am going away because in 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 36, we say that you should only marry someone past their bloom after puberty. The Eastern Orthodox Church holds to the age of consent and marriage at 16. So if there was 11, that is a significant age gap between me and the 11 year old. So I've got a question. If you were attracted to an 11 year old and you wanted to go out with her and marry her, would you engage in a marriage contract with an 11 year old? Never, never. Just imagine this. So, I'm into older girls. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's just say you were attracted. Why don't you look to any older at least any other? Okay, so I've got a question. Why, why, why in Islam? Why? Okay. Are you a Christian? Yes. Question. Yes. Can I ask you a question? I've got a question because I no, keep no, on no, asking no, this. No, 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 I haven't asked you. Okay, so what's the question? Okay, I'll say respectfully to the girl here as well. Yes. So you've got to answer it properly, yeah? Yeah, then I'll be shy. Okay. So tell me if I'm correct what I'm saying. Yes. So you believe that Jesus is the creator of everything? Yes. So then Jesus came down to earth yes. as God yes. and man. Yeah. Came out of a woman's private yeah, parts yeah, yeah, yeah. with afterbirth on yeah, his yeah, face. Yeah, yeah. Let's get to the question. Yeah. No, no, that's, I'm not asking yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that all, all happened. Correct? Yeah, that all happened. Okay. Yeah. And then he was breastfed yes. by his creation. Yes. And oh, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. And yeah. breastfed, he soiled his nappy. Yeah, okay. They didn't have disposable, they have to use the same nappy. Okay. So Jesus used the God okay. used the same nappy over and over again. Yeah. Am I correct, yes? Yeah. And then he was stripped naked and murdered by his own creation. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. Fully correct? Yes. Look me in and tell me. Yes. Okay. And then he got taken off the cross. Yes. Then he got, he was dead. Yeah. God died. Yeah. Then God came back to life. Yeah. Then God disappeared. Yeah. And that's all true. Yes. SubhanAllah. Okay. So I've got a question. What happened? Okay, I'm going to answer your question. I'm going to answer your question. I'm going to answer your question. Then I want you to answer my question. What happened at the night of the jinns? What happened at the night of the jinns? I don't know. Where Muhammad got pounded by jinns? I don't know. He got pounded by Satan. I've not heard that. Search up the night of the jinns. Okay, if you say so, okay, but I've not heard it. Okay, so why did that happen? I don't know. Because I can answer your question respectfully, okay. but if you ask an inflammatory question, no, I, I will know, as well. Okay. So the person of Christ acts in relation to his humanity. Yeah. He's an eternal person with two respected natures and but different was relations. God breastfed? Yes. Which breast was it, left or right? I am unaware. Which breast was it, left or right? <laughs> it doesn't really make what sense. hole was Muhammad pounded by, by Satan? I don't know, I don't know about that. No, but, no, we but, ask a disrespectful no, we, question, we, we I'll ask a disrespectful say, question. Why disrespectful? Like everyone, all That's not a disrespectful no, what question. Is true. Dad dad what I've said is true as well. What, what, what I said was true as well. Muhammad did get pounded by jinns. At the night of the jinns, Muhammad got pounded by Satan as he was reciting the Quran. 
Yes, he was. What Search it up. Do you have any proof of that? Yeah, the, the Knight of the Jinns. My phone's dead. You can look it up. It's a hadith. Why is your phone dead? Your phone shouldn't ever be dead. You should have a battery pack on your phone. Uh, I really should. Are you cold, bro? Huh? Are you cold? I'm fine. So, you've asked an inflammatory question, I've been able to answer it. I ain't asked you a question, I asked you if that's true and you said yeah. Yeah, that's true. So it wasn't a question. So why does Allah limit himself? I don't know. So in hadith number 179 of, book, of Sahih Muslim, Allah limits himself. Can anyone answer my question? So God what do you being mean? breastfed wasn't limiting himself? Well, yeah, in a respect. Which breast? In was, respect. Oh no, which breast? And I want to know. God? I want to know what hole Muhammad got pounded by. I want to know. I want to know what hole Muhammad got pounded by at the night of the jinns. So at the night of the jinns, Muhammad got raped. Muhammad got raped by Satan. So I'm simply asking what hole it was. He's asking what breast. I'm asking what hole. I think that's a pretty fair question. Very vulgar Christians are. No respect. They're very when when you ask an inflammatory question, I will ask a factually true statement. Now, I want to go again around. Uh, I've got to go in a few, in like half an hour. Okay, uh, actually, do you want to go around one more time? Okay, okay. okay. Beautiful. So, so, consistently, I've been asked inflammatory questions which appeal to emotion. I want to ask a few questions. I challenge the Muslims at the park to engage. Abortion. The composite nature of Allah and the Trinity being logical. So far, I've been getting the most brain dead responses from people at the park. Shamsi, I want to talk about abortion. Shamsi, I want to talk about a logical contradiction and what it ultimately means. So now I want to go around again and ask about abortion. So follow me.